Hey guys, MJ here from Night Gauss Hillbox. Today we're going to look at the new Tip SE. Alright, this 700 lumen monster just came in. We're going to look at how it stacks up against other keychain lights of the same size and power, and of course, why this is the best value light that you know money can buy today right so if you're here watching this then you're probably looking for a small you know super bright keychain light in the smallest package possible so nightcore actually has one for every kind of budget possible right so first up here's how it stacks up so first we have the tiki the tiki at 300 lumens this goes for 39 dollars then the new tip se comes in so this comes in at 59 dollars and it does 700 lumens. It completely crushes the 300 lumen limit because of the double LED in front, you can see here, right? Then if you want to step it up a bit, then you go into the Tip 2. Alright, so the difference between the Tip 2 and the Tip SE is the magnetic uh, base at the bottom. So if you remove the rear cap, you realize that, you know, there are two magnetic things here where you can stick on a metal surface, then you get hands-free lighting. Okay, so this comes in at $79 for 720 lumens, okay? So you're actually paying just $20 more for the magnetic feature. So the last one, of course, would be the king of pocket lights is the TUP. So this one does 1,000 lumens and, of course, it has all its uh, fancy displays and all of that things, okay? So this goes for $117. So if you can see across the board, Nightcore has a light for every budget range. Okay, but on a dollar to brightness ratio, if you don't need all the fancy displays, you don't need all the uh, magnetic things, you just want super bright in as small as possible, then the Tip SE is the one to go. So over a hundred of these has already been pre-ordered and sent out. So if you if you still haven't got one and are still wondering, you know, what's so good about it, let's dive straight into the Tip SE, right? So when it comes to everyday carry lights, you know, a good rule of the thumb is always get something better than your phone light. So the average phone brightness is about 50 lumens, so this is the max you can go, and it's always flat light only. So you can't get a, a throw beam distance phone light, right? As long as you have a light that has, goes beyond 50 lumens, like something like this, of course it smashes through 50 lumens, you're good to go. But wait, are there keychain lights that are worse than the phone light or comparable to the phone light? Yes, there is actually. So Nightcore Tube 2.0 actually serves that purpose. So this is actually a 55 lumen light with some minimal throw, but it's mostly a flat light. So this was made for people that you know don't even have a phone or really a last ditch emergency kind of light. So the Tube 2.0 is made for that. Okay, so first factor is of course it the light must be small and it packs a punch. 700 lumen punch, okay? Okay, the next is control should make your life easier. So there are a lot of small kitchen lights out there that sacrifice control because, you know, they have not enough surface area or space. So they only give you like one button. But for the Tip SE, it uses the try and prove Nightcore model of having two buttons. So the back on and off. So you press the back for to on and off. There you go. And then the front to change brightness modes. Okay, from 1 to 30 to 180 and press and hold for your 700 lumen burst, okay? Also, other very uh, life-saving features, of course, when it's off and you want to turn on light, but you don't want to blind anyone or suddenly get, you know, flash in your face because it's pitch black, right? You can press and hold the rear button and it turns on at 1 lumen, okay? Incredibly useful. And then once you let go, it's off. But if you're in a situation where you're walking on the street and you want to, you know, just check at the distance, 700 lumens immediately, just press and hold the mode button, boom, it will go to your 700 lumens. Then once you're done with it, just let go and it turns off, okay? And then one other feature also, it has mode memory. So when it's on and you have it, let's say, uh, one lumen, and it's, this is enough to read, walk around and all that. Suddenly you see something far away, you want to shine there, you can press and hold the mode button, press, See, once you're done, let go and it goes back into your one lumen uh, reading mode. Okay, so you realize on a day-to-day -day basis, this actually saves you the effort of cycling through. Oh, I want to see far. I cycle, cycle, cycle. That's right. Okay, I want to see back down now. Okay, I cycle, cycle. Oh, the one. A amount of clicks and effort wasted trying to cycle through lights. I mean, there's some lights out there actually still use this kind of ancient <laughs> control method. Okay, so this uh, press and hold, release, go back to the whatever mode you left it in is one of the features that Nightcore has pushed out across almost all their lights, all right? And it also saves your battery because you're not wasting time cycling and the battery is always on turbo. Keep it at what you want, press for turbo, let go, and you're back to where you are. 
it's optimized, it saves you time, saves you energy, saves you battery. Alright, so the next function of good everyday carry light, right, it should act as a backup light in case your primary light fails. So what this means is, I mean, for instance, you can actually, you know, imagine you're wearing a baseball cap, right, then you, your headlamp dies, and then you can actually clip this onto your head, your cap like this, cycle through the mode you want, and then there you go, you have a makeshift uh, headlamp, okay, in the form of a baseball cap, okay. So if it's not bright enough, just get two or more, and then you have the brightness you want, okay. Okay, this is the easiest way to remove the pocket clip. Okay, so hold it this way and then just push down with your thumb on the back. Okay, once it's out, just pull it off and then you're done. Alright, so if you want to put it back, put it back the same way from bottom up. Okay, just push it in, make sure the slot aligns and then you're done. Alright, you can also flip the clip around to act as a button, uh, to prevent accidental button presses. So flip it this way. Okay, push it in. Make sure the back aligns here and then on the front, the clip actually blocks the button from being pressed, alright? So now you, you if you leave it in a bag over long periods and you press on it, the buttons won't accidentally turn on and then, you know, the light burns through your bag and all that kind of things, okay? So very clever design, it's a, once you flip it, you know, you're good to go. So if you realise when you move, remove the pocket clip, you have your charging port here. Okay, so this is a USB-C charging port, here's how the cable looks like. You realize there's no uh, directional requirements you can flip, put it in this way or this way. Whereas the older ports, you would you have to struggle and to fit it in, and then sometimes you jam it in wrongly, you damage your port or you damage the cable. Okay, so this does not have all of that. So now I'm gonna show you how to charge it. Plug it in here. Alright, once it's in, you can see that it's charging. So there's a built-in charging indicator. Once it's red, it's charging. It takes one and a half hours or 90 minutes to charge fully charge the 500mAh battery inside from zero to full. You can see that I'm charging through uh, the Nikkor power bank as well. So one of the questions you always get is, can you use the light while it's charging? Yes, you can. So it's now it's charging, you can turn it on and you can cycle through the modes. Okay, there you go. You can also use it on turbo. So this is incredibly useful because you don't know what might happen out there. If for some reason you need to run a setup like this, now you know what this light gives you is a uh, 700 lumen light that has a 10,000 milliampere battery. So this will last you forever, <laughs> almost forever, this kind of combination, okay? So perfect for emergency use. Then of course the next concern is, hey, the charging port is exposed. What if water gets in, you know, what if this, you know, dirt gets in and all that, you know, drop this in the water by accident. So how would that look like, okay? So tip light on, let's drop it in. Make sure the port is exposed, there. Okay, so you realize that it is waterproof, you don't have to worry about it getting wet in the rain or anything like this. Okay, you can still change the brightness modes underwater. There you go, low, medium, high, and up to turbo. Okay, so the port you realize here is waterproof. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting it wet or soaked or anything like that. Okay, this is the tip, SE. Wherever you go, all weather conditions, snow, all that, no problem. Alright, all right, so one very important tip when you first get your tip SE right, it's always on demo mode, meaning after 30 seconds the light will turn off by itself. Okay, so to get out of that mode, when it's off, just press and hold both buttons, it will blink twice. That means it's in daily mode. So when you turn it on, it will not turn off after 30 seconds. Okay, so many, many people think that this is a battery issue or anything like that. No, it's just a mode setting. So if you want it to behave in a demo mode again, just turn it off. Okay, press and hold both buttons, it blink once and then now, after 30 seconds, it will turn off by itself. So Nightcore is no stranger to making small, tiny lights that work, right? Many of these are actually award-winning, you know, tiny pocket lights that work really, really well and sell a lot, okay? So if you find these kind of tiny tools useful, you should get one as soon as you can and attach it to your keychain with the included uh, key rings. So there are three different sizes of key rings here. One is a key clasp and the rest are loop-ins. So if you still don't have an EDC light, it's time you get equipped with one of the you know, most basic essential carry leave your phone to calling, don't waste the battery. Get a tool that is meant to do what it's meant to do. Don't use a phone to use it as a flashlight. And then everything is just, you know, a bit here, a bit there. All right, so these are all in stock. They come in either black here, black or metallic gray here. Okay, you can order them all from nightcallites.com. Just click on the link below. Choose the quantity you want, either one, three or 10 even. Add them to cart and then you're good to go. All right, so the more you buy, the cheaper it gets, especially in the packs of uh, 3 or 10. 
there's a bulk discount there. You can also pay in three installments now if you need the cash flow, right? It's interest free, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And as usual, this comes with our bulletproof five year warranty and money back guarantee. So if you buy one and you feel like, hey, this does not serve my purpose, you can send everything back for a full refund, all right? So that's it. If you would like to see more videos like this, uh, recommendation of lights, how it stacks up, comparison between other nightcore lights, just subscribe below and we'll see you in the next video. Alright, so MJ signing out.